is a rare and pleasant experience when you can combine Oregon history with unique outdoor recreation, a way to give context to the places we enjoy playing in. Hi there, I'm Grant McComey, your host for Travel Oregon's Grant's Getaways, and this week we head to the Oregon coast to discover a context of sorts for a century-old railroad that loves to take passengers aboard. Come on along as we enjoy a ride on the Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad. At Garibaldi, Oregon, the past is easy to find. Just listen for a moment and then watch as the Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad's powerhouse engine comes to life. It's basically like a big industrial furnace and the firebox is surrounded by water and it heats the water up to boiling. The steam goes up to the top, goes through the superheater units and down into the cylinders. Engineer Scott Wicker says the Prairie 262 steam engine was built in 1925. It burns recycled motor oil and it's rated to pull 29,000 pounds. It gives you a respect for what it was like 100 years ago uh, running the railroads. You've got to be constantly thinking about water supply. You know, we go through 90 to 100 gallons of water per mile, so you've got to have that all figured out. The railroad takes on passengers at Garibaldi each day for a 90-minute round-trip ride along the coast. All aboard! Conductor Tim Thompson's been checking passengers and punching their tickets since the railroad started in 2003. Tickets, please! People coming out to see the coast and ride a steam train and experience a, a little bit of Americana as it was back in the day. The day was in 1912 when the railroad arrived in Tillamook County and brought Portland area passengers who fell in love with the sun, the surf, and the chance to get away from it all. There was no roads, there was nothing in this area. And people, in order to come up here, you had to go by wagon up the beach line to even get up to this area. So, so it was everything? It was everything, yeah. Local historian Don Best says back then, the railroad was the only way to get here. You could get on the train at 9 o'clock in the morning in Portland and be walking on the beach at 2.30 in the afternoon. It was the most accessible beach on the Oregon coast. The people came by thousands, and developments were ready to meet them, with familiar names like Manhattan Beach, Brighton Beach, Salt Air. And unlike vacations of today, families would travel to Rockaway Beach and stay all summer. The dad was working in Portland, and he had come down on the Friday train, which they ended up calling the Daddy Train. There wasn't any houses down here. There was tents, and the people brought their own tents and set the tents up on the tent frames. And eventually the lots that were created here were originally 25-foot lots designed around tents. All aboard! These days, the railroad runs three or four times a day along a three-mile stretch of track. A pleasant cruise at just 10 miles an hour. It's a fun ride to see some things that you from the road normally don't see. <laughs> Bumpy, not very fast. You can see what's nearby. On the hot weekends in Portland, we are packed. They Love the open cars out in the sunshine. And some of them want to be inside out of the wind and they stay in the Wilson River car. It's a lot of fun. It is a lot of fun and a fine way to connect with a piece of Oregon's past. It is a lot of fun and a wonderful way to learn more about a unique chapter in Oregon recreation history. In fact, there's more good news on the horizon. The folks at Oregon Coast Scenic Railroad plan to expand their opportunities for taking you aboard next year as they take tours up along Oregon's coastal rivers and into the mountains. We have all the details, directions, and the contact information right here on the Travel Oregon website, so be sure to check it out. Until next week, do get out here and explore the great Oregon outdoors and let Travel Oregon be your guide. For Travel Oregon, I'm Grant McComey.